This newly released O.J. Simpson interview was first taped in 2006 to promote his controversial book, If I Did It. The interview aired overnight, and we see Simpson discussing in some chilling detail how the murders might have gone down. ABC's Adrian Banker is here with the story. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning to you too, George. It's the newest take in a story that continues to resurface, but the interview has people wondering, was this long lost tape a real murder confession from O.J. Simpson? I know the facts better than anyone. The question still being asked nearly 25 years later. Did O.J. Simpson commit murder? I don't think any two people could be um, murdered the way they were without everybody being covered in blood. Simpson speaks about the 1994 murders of former wife Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman as if he were there. Why don't you tell me? What might have happened on the night of June 12, 1994? <laughs> First of all, it's, this is very difficult for me to do this. Uh, it was very difficult for me because it's hypothetical. The 2006 interview, part of a two-hour special on Fox titled O.J. Simpson, The Lost Confession. He speaks candidly about his book, If I Did It, a fictionalized hypothetical confession to the murders he was acquitted of in the now historic blockbuster trial. Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. Some of his answers? Chilling. You put on a wool cap and gloves. Uh, in the hypothetical, I put on a cap and gloves. Simpson says for the first time he was accompanied by a friend named Charlie in his so called hypothetical retelling. I always kept a knife, a knock car for the crazies and stuff because you can't travel with a gun. And I remember Charlie saying, You ain't bringing that. And I didn't, right? But I believe he took it. Charlie took the knife? Yeah. In the book. O.J. recalls exchanging words with Ron Goldman, who had shown up at his ex-wife's home. I just remember Nicole fell and hurt herself. And uh, this guy kind of got into a karate thing. And I said, well, you think you can kick my ass? And I remember I grabbed a knife. I do remember that portion, taking a knife from Charlie. And to be honest, after that, I don't remember. Except I'm standing there and there's all kind of stuff around and... Um, um, what kind of stuff? Blood and stuff around. You know, we, you know, I hate to say this, but this is like, I'm right, sorry. Right. I know we got to back up again. Right. <laughs> you write about removing a glove before taking the knife from Charlie. Uh, you know, I had no conscious uh, memory of doing that, but obviously I must have because they found a the glove there. Charlie the interview didn't originally air due to public backlash. In the book, you describe taking off your shoes, your pants, and your shirt and dropping it in a bundle. Do you remember that? Uh, yes. Social media erupting overnight. One viewer writes, yes, this is a confession to murder. Another tweeting, OJ has details and speaks in first person more often than not. His lawyer tells ABC News, a lot of people think O.J. Simpson is still actively involved in this. He's not and wants nothing to do with this in 2018. Now, the executive producer of the special says the families of the victims gave their blessing to show the interview. You might recall a judge ruled the rights of Simpson's book go to the family of Ron Goldman. But obviously still a ton of interest in this story. Mm. It's hard to watch. Yeah, yeah it really hard is. to watch and confusing as to why you would even do it. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you so much. No Appreciate problem. that, Adrian.